Pop C is actually half British and half Nigerian. His Nigerian is worryful, but he was um, he was raised in worry. Mom C is also worry Nigerian full. So I'm actually three quarters Nigerian, not half like a lot of people think. Let them go and it's like everybody forgot the like videos and the crazy things that was going on with the auditions. Go and audition and, and tell me where they handpicked you. There are people that actually like are arguing on my page about I saw her there. No. You know, I think Shay and I were actually at the same auditions together, so we got through it to the last stage of that day. But no, I went through the normal way. I, I nobody handpicked me, just God. Able God. So yeah. When I got the call, I was like, are you serious? Because I literally had just found an apartment. I literally had just got my bed sorted out. I've been sleeping, you know, trying to sleep in my place and put things together. Um, so I was not prepared at all. Everything was very, very scattered. And I had um, less than 40, like 36 hours roughly, I would say, to get um, under lockdown. Um, so there was no time, there was really no time. For the fact that I stayed longer than housemates that were there previously, that is nice. Um, I, but I don't have any hand in how long I stay there, really and truly. The housemates will nominate or the games will be won and lost and the public will vote. So it was God's, God's will that I was there for six weeks. I feel like my wardrobe would have been better if I had more time. Um, but <laughs> on, a, on a more serious note, I didn't watch um, previously. I only watched who had actually gone in the house. So I'm glad I actually had no sense of anything. So I was able to go in there and just be Venita all the way through without the influence of what was happening before or what was currently on ground. Um, no, I, I didn't. I don't have mind to have strategy. I'm too emo. I too they feel, feel them for shit, you know. Have so much fun. Remember what it's like to have fun. Remember what who you are before um, having kids. Remember who you are regardless um, of becoming a mom or having a situation that didn't work out. Just be the best of you. You know. Yes, sometimes it will hurt. Sometimes. The bad side will really come out, but just let be yourself. I think I feel like people would have related to me, especially um, you know women um, and mothers, especially, especially because we put so much pressure on, on women in African society to conform to be in this little box. You know, we expect you to work, but we expect you to be a mother first. In fact, we actually are happy for you just to simply just be a mother and nothing else. But, but women are so much more than that. We have their, ha, our strength is phenomenal. So be, be the best of yourself. I didn't really, okay, so I was locked down. And then when I was released, <laughs> when I was released into the wild, um, before I got, went in, um, I, you know, you have this brief period where you see what people are doing from where you are standing and the house was very quiet you know um i think i think i'm not sure because i've already said this so many times my memory is trash <laughs> but i think jeff was sitting at the dining table i could be wrong um but i remember coming in woo, almost till i came out worry worry and now you know guy what's up greeting some people but nothing really looked like anything was happening. So I was like, okay. Then I think it was Sergi's birthday. I think it was on his birthday, if I remember correctly. Ah, oh, this is my memory now. Now, wow. Um, then I was like, if it's a birthday, like, come on. Like, where's the energy? Like, let's, let's, get, let's get it happening. Let's get it buzzing. Let's play a game. It's evening. Whatever task you're doing, it can wait. At the time, I didn't understand the gravitational force of Biggie's task. You know, but I was just like, let's just have fun this evening, now, right now, now that I walked in. Yes.
You know, I, I need to stop saying this, but I really, really, nobody understands how excited I was to be a mosquito. I really enjoyed being a mosquito <laughs> um, because it was a game where everybody had to get involved, even people who normally wouldn't. And um, even if people wouldn't normally work together, we had to work together. So that was the game where everybody was having fun. I could see it and I enjoyed it. I also loved this, uh, winning one or two things as well. Um, but. Man, I took lessons. I took lessons, you know, and, and that's the value of that is, is, is beyond. That's more than just a moment, if you understand what I mean, you know. Um, so that was that had the highest value for me. There's a word for that. It's called a schizophrenic or like somebody who has a multiple personality. No, I'm like everybody else. Sometimes my temperature is really hot. Sometimes my temperature is really cold. If you're sad or you're not feeling up to par per se, or even if you're physically unwell, you're not going to be bouncing off the walls on high energy, you know? And then if you're happy, you're not exactly going to be like, I'm so happy. It doesn't happen. So like anybody else, I shift moods uh, in, in accordance to what is affecting me at the time. So they will be fine. It's their own people that is schizophrenic. Absolutely, as soon as I walked in, I, I, I felt like, yes, there would be definitely people that would consider me that way, based on first impressions, yes. No, I cannot, because, nah, the person be with you, nah, in the way, the pain up. Me, my own shoe was very okay. No, I don't think that it, it was misplayed and I, I don't think that it was not handled well. It was something that was highlighted, a line was drawn underneath it and it is definitely something for anybody to consider. Um, it was unwanted attention, I think that was very clear. Um, but at the time, <clears throat> I think everyone had had a little bit to drink and also I didn't realise that that was what was going on. Had I known that that was going on, I believe that my reaction would have been a lot more aggressive and a lot more, you know, violent than that. Because we have these mic packs, you know, that have our name on them and you have your mic and, and you have a transmitter. I, am I mic'd right now? I'm not mic'd or I am mic'd. I wish I can show, can I, can I pull it out or can you give me a mic? Do we have a mic? Your mic. Your mic. I just don't know where the other end of the mic is. Okay, it's behind this cushion. So this is literally for purposes I want to explain so that people can understand. So on your mic, you literally have a point. This is even a little one, you know, you have the, the longer ones. And um, they stick out of the pack that we're in. And we're always making obscene jokes about this, this mic, you know, or put it under clothes or under costumes because who can be bothered to keep moving it? So I really had no reason to feel or suspect that that was what was actually going on. It was like when I came out and when I was finally released, I just got my phone that I, I saw all of that and I zoomed in. So yes, it is inappropriate behavior. Yes, it was unwanted attention. However, because it, it involved me, I, I definitely found it embarrassing. Do you understand? And I find it a, a bit insulting to do that to anybody, especially considering the person is a mother and considering what was going on. So it was careless, it was reckless on his part, but do I believe that he is a sexual predator. I, I have no reason to feel that way um, considering the time that I had lived and spent with that person. You know, having said that, there is no sign when you, uh, with any sexual predators, you cannot tell. But I mean, he runs uh, like a nightclub. So I guess it's normal, you know, normal play, but some people will not smile about that. So I want to make that very clear. At no point do I condone the actions but at the same time i do not condemn the actual human being that is my stance on that let me see who who is in the house right now okay i know who's in the house right now you know what no i would actually i'm really sorry it's not for any personal reasons but if i had to pick someone i would replace diane the reason being, I would shift the dynamic. From my understanding of what has happened now outside the house, there's a trio. And the way the numbers are set up right now, three is a very big, you know, a powerful number. So I would replace her. 
Leave Mercy and EK on their own. But and I would I would love to see the look on Kathy's face if I walk back in the door. I was I would swap Diane with me. We can one end and completely um, cause controversy. <laughs> If I walk back in the house, she would have one or two things to say about it. And I would like to see if she could sing or dance through my re-entry. I would, I would like to see that. Me and Kathy have had tension since the beginning of time, but now we direct it in a way that is functional for both of us. <laughs> so um, I call her my poodle, and she calls me a rotty, which is a rottweiler. So it's just our way of understanding our differences but still being grown women and agreeing to disagree and simply move forward, you know. But I would like to see the look at her face. <laughs> uh, it would be interesting. I would, I would just want to see if she could sing through that because Kathy sings her stress. Um, she has a very positive way of dealing with, with stress, I feel. It's, it's actually admirable, um, you know. Very uncanny, but it's actually low-key and admirable. And, um, I would like to see if she could sing and dance her way through my reentry. That would be interesting. That is a fantastic question. My goodness. I'm not sure what reaction anybody expected, but I reacted normally for me. I'm not, I can't be fussed about that. They can say what they want about it. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, I would have. I would have um, definitely put a, um, some money down on having a permanent place of residence um, and then I would have invested heavily into one of my passions um, and watched it flourish and then, you know, tuck the rest away for a rainy day or put it in the, what is those things, the bonds that where the interest comes and it pays you. You know, it's a lot of money, it is a lot of money to have in one go, but at the same time it's, it's some people blow through that, you know, business-wise, you know, in a very short space of time. And I'm looking for uh, sustainability and longevity in anything I do, which is why I apply myself so, you know, with so much passion to anything I do. Um, so yeah, that probably be what, what I would have done with the money. You cannot fake the love from your heart as a mother. Uh, I find it insulting that anyone would, would even suggest that. You know, um, you cannot, I just don't think that's something that mothers would pretend about. I'm sorry, so. Yeah, I, I don't know how, I don't have much to add to the, the rest of that. Every mother would be insulted by that statement, period. So, I would like for us to progress. I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's even like it's day three now. Um, but I think if you have a successful team behind you, it's very possible. You know, like when I'm going around and having these interviews, you know, people want to see what you're doing. They want to see that you're busy. They want to see what you're wearing. And I'm like, woo! Especially when you're coming from not having a phone at all for a very long period of time. So um, I do go on my page and find that. Some things have been posted already, uh, but that's because I, I have um, good people behind me, you know. So it's day three, I'm posting too, they're posting, you know, so we're keeping up to speed. Um, but if, if it doesn't happen, like, and I'm not posting a million times a day, I'm also okay with that. Like, I've gone through a period in my life where I was very much onto the radar for years. I'm okay with any decision that makes me happy you know it's not the be all and end all there are people that make millions millions every day that don't even post anything on their gram you know success is not defined by instagram or social media it's defined um, by a measure of growth and then what you have attained from that growth so that's my take on that Hi everyone, it's Benita. I just want to take a second out to say thank you. I want to celebrate you. I want to really, really just inform you of how appreciative I am for your constant love and support. 
I know it was a big platform, but it doesn't make the feeling any different. I feel so lifted and empowered. Thank you, V Army. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who even took the time to just follow or just vote, not just for me, but for other housemates too, because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, you know? So I really appreciate you and I have so much more to offer. I would like you to stay tuned in and locked in to my pages on what I'm doing. On IG, it's at VZBaby, that's V-E-E-Z-E-E-B-A-Y-B-E-H. You can just type in B-E-E-Z, I should pop up with my big, big yellow head. And um, also follow me on Snap and on Twitter, Benita Akmafure, all together. No underscores, no gaps. Watch out for bogus accounts. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you all. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. It's Benita. Keep watching Vibe.nd.